हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ प्रीति दिव्यानी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूफ वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थियोरम दैट इज कॉश इज जेनरल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस एंड द थियोरम इज अ नेसेसरी एंड सफिशियंट कंडीशन फॉर द कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ अ सिक्वेंस एस एन इज दैट फॉर इच एपसेल एन ग्रेटर देन जीरो देयर एग्जिस्ट अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एम सच डैड ऑफ एस एन प्लस पी माइनस एस एन लेस देन एपसेल एन फॉर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन इजक्व टू एम एंड पी ग्रेटर देन इजक्व टू वन प्रूफ नेसेसरी कंडीशन लेट एस एन बी अ कन्वर्जेंट सिक्वेंस कन्वर्जेंट सिक्वेंस which converges to a limit l then we have to show then we have to show that there exists a positive integer m such that mod of s n plus p minus s n less than epsilon for all n greater than is equals to m and p greater than is equals to one. Okay. In necessary condition, we are going to prove that s n be a convergent sequence which is converging to a limit l. So we have to show this only. Okay. Now, since the sequence sn is convergent to l therefore therefore by definition by the definition of convergent okay so thereby so therefore so therefore by definition for any epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer m such that mod of sn minus l less than epsilon by 2 for all n greater than is equals to m give it 1 let p b any integer now we are letting that p b any integer which is greater greater than or is equals to or equals to 1 then n plus p is greater than n oh. something is added to n it must be greater than n so give it start dash and from here we know that n is greater than is equals to m so this is star double dash from star dash and star double dash we get that n plus p is greater than m so that from 1 from 1 n plus p minus minus l minus l less than epsilon by 2 s n plus p minus s n is equals to s n plus p minus l plus l minus s n i just insert minus l and plus l in between this okay now we have to separate it sn plus p minus l plus l minus sn after separation minus l plus l minus sn again it's goes to sn p minus l plus sn minus l because we know that mod of minus x goes to mod of x from here now 
this is this term is less than epsilon by 2 and this is also less than epsilon by 2 after solving we get epsilon only then mod of snp minus sn less than epsilon for all n greater than is equals to m and p greater than is equals to 1 so now we are going to prove the sufficient condition. Sufficient condition is suppose S and P and is sequence which satisfies the condition mod of S n plus P minus S n less than epsilon for all n greater than is equals to m and P is greater than is equals to 1. So this time this is given. Now we have to show that the sequence S n is convergent and for this we have to only show that the sequence is bounded and con converges to a limit by the given condition let epsilon is equals to 1 there exists a positive integer m not such that mod of s m plus p minus s n less than 1 for all n greater than is equals to m not and p greater than is equals to 1 Give it equation 1. In particular, in particular, n is equals to m naught. We have as we have to write m naught in place of n as m naught plus p minus s m naught less than 1 for all p greater than is equals to 1. Okay. This means s m not minus 1 less than s m not plus p less than s m not plus 1 so this is the way how to we open the modulus like if mod x is less than 1 so this is minus 1 less than x less than 1 ok like that for all p greater than is equals to 1 give it equation 2 let small g is equals to minimum minimum of s not sorry s1 s2 s3 up to sm not minus 1 s m naught minus 1 ok and capital G is equals to maximum of s1 s2 s3 up to s m naught minus 1 s m naught minus 1 plus 1 sorry then from 2 we get G is less than S N less than capital G for all N belongs to capital N. Okay. From equation 2. This shows that the sequence the sequence S N is bounded ok Jano Vistras theorem now by Bolzano Vistras theorem for sequence ok not for set for sequence it has at least one limit point say L. So students I also uploaded Volgiano Vistas theorem for sequence links are given in the description box you may check it out ok now we shall now prove we shall now show that the sequence the sequence Sn converges to L. Okay, 
So by Volgano Vistra's set of four sequence, we know that if sequence is bounded, it must contain at least one limit point. So we are assuming that it is L. In particular, in particular, n is equals to m. Then from one, then from one, we get mod s m plus p minus s m less than epsilon by three for all p greater than is equals to one. Equation three. So this is. So this is equation one. We just assume that n is equals to m here. Okay. After that, since l is a limit point, therefore there exists an integer m one greater than m such that. S M one minus L less than epsilon by three. Assume it four. Also, M one is greater than M. Therefore, from one we get S M one minus S M less than epsilon by three. Give it equation five or mod s m plus p minus l is equals to s m plus p minus s m plus s m minus s m one s m one minus l. Okay, less than is equals to one s m plus p minus s m plus mod s m minus s m one. Plus mod s m one minus l is equals to s m plus p minus s m s m minus one minus s m plus s m one minus l because because this is in the same way that we are assuming our equation here s m plus p minus s m but here s m One minus l and S M one minus S M. For that, I just change the pattern. S M one minus S M. Okay. Now this is less than what? Epsilon by three plus epsilon by three plus epsilon by three. From equation three, four, and five. This means S M plus P minus L. Less than epsilon for all p greater than is equal to one. This implies s n minus l less than epsilon for all n greater than is equal to one for all p greater than is equal to one. So, guys, this is a proof of Cauchy's general principle of convergence, the both necessary and sufficient condition. I also uploaded BSS and MSS. important theorem you may check in my description box all links are given below and if you like my video please like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon thanks for watching my videos